A person's freedom to speak is, abs is an absolute right. Nobody should have their freedom taken away. There is no justification in a democratic society for anybody's free speech to be taken away. So whether you're a Christian, or whether you're an atheist, and you look at me and you judge me, always remember this, you don't get to judge me. You don't get to define who I am, whether you're a Christian or whether you're an atheist. Because the person who gets to judge me and define me is Jesus Christ. At the end of the day, I am answerable to him. I am his child and I am his servant. I will listen to counsel, for I have a good family and I have good friends. And I will listen to their counsel and I will take on board what they say. But above all, I will listen to Jesus Christ. Recent events that happened recently were so crushing that happened in Manchester recently um, that was filmed. Um, you can find the video of the person who took it upon themselves to take a camera and to record me in town. Um, Recent events that happened so crushed me that it also brought healing to me. Because at that point, I was so humiliated by that event, so traumatized by that event. And a series of events that have happened uh, from this online community that when it broke me it made me there was a lady who who um, was a down and out and she was lying in the street as a down and out. And as she was lying there, people began to walk past and laugh at her. And then someone urinated all over her. And at that moment, when there, somebody urinated over her, they laughed at her. And at that moment, as they did that, she got up and she began to look after herself. She began to respect herself. She began to have dignity for herself. And she went on to be a professor. She went on to do an open university degree. And she went on to be a professor. And she was interviewed on television. And she was telling a story about being uh, a down and out. And being humiliated. By this person who urinated on her. And. Someone said. Well what made you get up? Why did you get up and then go on to do a degree and an MA and a PhD? What made you get up? And she said, I'm not going to let anyone humiliate me anymore. I'm a human being and I deserve respect. If you type in Jason Burns on YouTube you will see video after video after video of online humiliation from the atheist to, against me if you felt, type in Jason Burns you will find an archive channel 
that is specifically been set up by the atheist community. It's not just one individual, there are others who support it. That picture is a picture of humiliation. You go on the channel and it's just pure humiliation. Every video is out of context. Every video is not in the context that it should be. Not in the context of the hundreds if not thousands of scholarly videos that I did which were also wrapped in and out. And also I have to be honest that there are times where I'd lost it where I was making 10 videos challenging DPR Jones and things like that and I was unbalanced. And obviously, um, that channel and those archive channels, when people see them, it's just pure humiliation, out to purely humiliate me. And then on top of that, around the archive channel, most of the videos that come up are videos where, to be honest, uh, they're quite pathetic, where I put ketchup on me because I'm begging the atheist community to stop and then the atheist community take the video and um, trying to make me look bad and then on top of that atheists making videos attacking me and on top of that Google Hangouts where they're talking about my mental health and then purposely trying to wind me up so that I get angry so that they record it so that they can put it on the archive channel and it goes on and on and on and it's just you just type in Jason Bird and it's just pure humiliation. And what happened to me the other day was pure humiliation. And so when that down and out was urinated on, she got up and she wouldn't let them do it again. And I want to say to you as Christians who are concerned that I'm addicted to YouTube, and I want to say to the atheist out there and anybody else who supports me or doesn't support me, I want to tell you this, that you can humiliate someone so far and then something clicks. And I've been humiliated so much that something has clicked. And what has clicked for me and where it has brought complete healing strength and renewal to me is this that I am a minister of the gospel that I am a preacher of the word of God that I am a child of God and I am a servant of God and that is my calling that is who I am that is what I should do that is what I am good at that is me. I am a preacher of the Word of God. That is my training, that is my qualification, that is my experience, and that is my my um, my calling. And I am not perfect. I struggle with things and I make mistakes. And I have issues we all have made mistakes, we all have issues. But just as Paganini could play the violin, just as Rembrandt could paint a picture, just as somebody may be trained to do be a lorry driver or someone trained to be a milkman or someone trained to be a carpenter. Well I'm trained to preach. I'm not addicted to YouTube anymore. 
I'm not addicted. I am not. Um, I've not got that angst, that struggle that I had before on YouTube, where I felt the need to go on YouTube to try and ease the pain and the hurt and the struggles that I was going through. I don't have that need. It might sound a bit sound contradictory, but I don't. The need that I have right now is to be me, to speak as me. I am healed and I am back the real Jason Burns is back the real Jason Burns is back and nobody is going to humiliate me and trying to stop me from being me Nobody is going to do that. Now, I, um, I will, um, if God wants me to do preach on YouTube and I'll most definitely preach in Manchester and I will do that and not one person anywhere has the right to judge me the only person who has a right to judge me is him because not one person whether it be in Manchester or whether it be in YouTube knows who I am not one person knows my journey fully and I'll continue to be who I am I'll continue to exercise my God-given calling to preach the Word of God I, uh, I am sorry that I was not the man that I should have been in some times I am sorry that I was angry in some videos very very uh, unbalanced in my anger and I am sorry that I said things without thinking about it and it caused a lot of upset to people I am sorry about those things um, I do think if the atheist community had any decency at all understanding my journey if they had any decency at all they would take the archive channels down but whether they do or not it doesn't matter because at the end of the day it's what I think about myself and it's what I do with my life and what I'm going to do with my life is I'm going to be me and I will celebrate my history I will celebrate those videos they might be crazy videos they might be a look a mess they might look humiliation but I'll celebrate them because they were me it was my journey and I'll celebrate them because many of those videos are out of context and I'll celebrate them because they're part of a far greater body of work that is good stuff that you can find and I'll celebrate it because it's made me the person that I am today and I'm only going to go from strength to strength at the, from this point so I don't know if anybody really does care out there or not but I'm me I'm Jason Burns and I'll do what God wants me to do.